Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome to March's wrap up in the middle of April, which if you're new, it is not an uncommon thing to happen here. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and go right into it because you guys, I'm honestly not feeling the greatest right now. So I'm gonna just kind of like through it real quick. Uh, compared to last month when I went really, really extra with the with my wrap up video, which I really, really loved doing. I'm not gonna lie, it was great. But my collection is still pretty small and I do solo a lot and I pretty much play the same games to be honest with you. So it would kind of be a repetitive situation. This month, in the month of April, I'll probably do something like that because I do have an announcement at the end. Hopefully I don't forget. And also in May or June, I think it's May though, um, when BGG uh, Spring comes into town, because uh, they do do it here um, in Dallas where I'm from. So that's honestly the only kind of convention that I go to, which is good because like I'm very like anxious. And to be honest, when I went last year, I was like there like the pendeja, like, <laughs> like oh my god, because like, there's too many people. I mean, it wasn't like as many people as like a big con, but I would love to go to a big con. But like people like, <gasps> we ended up renting a room because it's, the airport is kind of far. And we're like, you know what? Let's just go ahead and rent a room, kind of like a staycation that we could just go up and down and we don't have to waste gas and like for parking and all that. <laughs> so we would go to the library and get the games and then we would go play up in our room. Like Desiree and myself were the ones that went because we're, we're really anti-social. We're like big time like introverts. I just went on with the whole story, y'all. So I played 16 different games on BGA. It looks like 28 times. So we're starting off with Ticket to Ride and honestly, since playing it on BGA, I have been enjoying it way more. Then we have Earth. I did play that one three times. And Earth, I'm still kind of... I'm like I'm starting to get the hang of it. I really don't like reading instructions or like the rule books when I'm playing online. And so like I'll just go on there winging it and I'm like I'll pick it up and then I'll get mad when I don't know what the hell I'm doing and then I'm like okay fine I'll, I'll, I'll read my stuff. But I am actually really enjoying it. I don't really know if I want the game just because it looks like the game like the cards are like a lot of the stock footage which kind of reminds me like of Ark Nova, which I do love the game and I'm really enjoying the game, but I just don't like the stock footage cards. So I don't think I really want another game like that in my collection. So I think I'm okay with it just here. Um, then I also did uh, King Stop, Lost Ruins of um, Arnark, Obsession. I'm always on a game of Obsession. This, this is my BG handle if you guys want to play. And Can't Stop, I just started playing that and I'm actually like really, really enjoyed it. I don't think it's one that I would want to add to the collection because it's a lot of fun, but I'm a packaging whore and I don't really like the way it looks to be honest with you. So I think I'll just stick to it, like just on BGA. Uh, then we have Boop and I'm enjoying it also just on BGA. I don't think it's one that I'll add to the collection. Blender is another one that I absolutely love. Parks as well. Um, then Seesaw and pa uh, Paper. I've heard so many people talk about this game that they love it. I didn't like it. It wasn't for me. I, I don't get it. I also didn't. I did play it twice. Wait, did I play it twice? No, I played it once. I didn't like it. I was like, no, I don't want to do it again. Then we did uh, Blood Rage, and I quite enjoyed it. It's one that I've been wanting to add to the collection for a while, uh, but I do want to play it some more here and learn it better because I was kind of also winging it, but I did look at a how-to video. Okay, then Azul, Wingspan, love Wingspan, Seven Wonders Architect, Draftosaurus, it's another cute game that I really love that I would only pay on BGA and I wouldn't uh, own it. And then I tried Viticulture for the first time. I didn't get it, y'all. I didn't get it. I do need to try it again. Uh, somebody's willing to play with me, maybe if it's just like a us two, just so you can kind of guide me through it, that would be awesome. And then Patchwork, those are my BGA stats. Now if you guys are new, I am mainly a solo player, um, but there are some times that I am able to um, play like at two or three players. So if I did play at a higher count, I'll let you guys know. I did order some button shy games and I did get Arcane Bakery Clash. That is a two player only game. So obviously this is one that I did play with another person. And it was a it was a fine game. It was fine. I kind of wish I had tried it beforehand somewhere, like maybe at a con. Honestly, I don't think I would have bought it. I did play this one at work and it did take us way longer than it needed to because obviously it was kind of like in between calls. But of course it's one of those 18 card games 
and I don't really see how the replayability like constantly playing this game. Then uh, Kites and Marvel Champions the card game and this was actually one of the games that we played for our game night and I have just absolutely love Marvel Champions. Um, I have so many like heroes now. Uh, the group that I played it with though they weren't fully getting it. They're just casual gamers like whenever we do our book club but they've played other games. And then we played uh, Kites and that's actually a really, really, really fun like party game. It goes by so quickly. You're just trying to fly some kites and make sure they don't come down and it's like a real time fast, like literally like you're just playing card time and tailings and flipping over the little sand timers. It's a lot, a lot of fun. And of course, Cascadia. We can't go a month without playing Cascadia. I'm actually kind of shocked. I didn't play Cascadia as much as I was expecting and hoping to play it, especially since I was taking part in uh, Jenna Rose's uh, monthly challenge. Um, and her, this was like the first uh, month that she did that. Each month she's uh, picking a game and, you know, just kind of, beating your own score sort of deal and Cascadia was the one from last month and this month is three sisters which is so exciting because I also have three sisters yeah I already know how I feel about that heifer harm or Edith uh, but yeah I love Cascadia one of my favorites uh, then I played E.T. the extraterrestrial light years away and I've been having this game for a minute and I finally told Desiree can you please play with me because Desiree if you don't know that's my little sister she doesn't like to play games with me so I basically have to like force her or like kind of beg her which is sad which I don't like doing so I just don't do it unless I really really want to play a game you're the kids and you're just trying to get the um, the equipment the the what's it called the not scraps you're trying to get the things for him to build the thing to call the mother mothership you're trying to avoid all the cops you have et in your little basket it they're like in in uh bikes i would like to play maybe like at three players or like all of them i think it's like a four player because it was really really close with us two and i'm like can you imagine if it was like all of us so it was really really good you can actually get this one up uh, this one up at target i think that's where i ended up getting it um and then food chain island it's another button shy game i ended up getting that one because jamie for foster the meeple uh talks about that game a lot that one and ugly griffin in um and rove and i ended up getting all of those um including uh arcane bakery i don't think she ever talked about that one but when i read it it looked interesting so i got it should have got it because jamie didn't talk about that one <laughs> but i do love the other ones except for rove rove is probably my least favorite i did uh tiny epic dungeons and then tiny epic zombies and I really, those are the only two tiny epic games that I have. I would like to try some other ones. So if you guys have recommendations, let me know. But nothing like tiny epic dungeons. Like I have played this game a couple of times and I don't fully get it. It's kind of hard. I feel like I am getting a little bit more each time that I play it, but there's just so much of the iconography chingadera stuff. And like I literally, it's like every time that I'm doing something, I'm like, I'm having to look at the rule book to see what this little icon means and what it does. And I'm just like, I'm not jiggy with that. I don't really like it. But it's like, also, it's still fun. But it's, you know, I like it, but uh, it, it does have one of my least favorite things when it comes to a solo player, which is you have to um, be with like two different characters. I don't like that. I prefer to just do my own character and then you know the ai and tiny epic zombies i love tiny epic zombies that was awesome i love zombies to start off with and you're going through the mall you kind of have like that whole um zombie movie mall situation going and i love it then parks parks of course like cascadia is part of my 10 by 10 challenge and i did recently buy the nightfall expansion which i absolutely love it definitely adds that extra some something to it because i'm not gonna lie i'm like how many times have i played parks now i don't know uh, oh here here here's my how my 10 by 10 challenge is going i'm just gonna go ahead and put it up now because then i forget I think I forgot last time too. I think I played it maybe like five times already and I was already kind of getting tired of it because I was just like, oh my God. I mean, there's like a lot of cards and everything, but I was just like, I don't know. I, I was like, oh. This is a game that I also prefer playing solo or on BGA. Cause I did play that work one time and it was very, very chill, right? But I was just like, I don't know. Like I, I wasn't, fully gain an enjoyment from it with somebody else and like i said ugly griffin and love it rove um and sprawlopolis sprawlopolis was actually my very first but shy game that i played then we have town 66 and hadrian's wall hadrian's wall is also part of my 10 by 10 challenge and 
her throat is getting a little dry. Town 66 is another one that I think I prefer solo as well. I did play last month at three players and it was fine. I still enjoyed it, but I don't know. There was something about it that I was just like, I think I prefer this by myself. Um, Hadrian's Wall, I do want to try it at two player, but I just, I really, really feel like it have that kind of mechanism where when I'm playing with somebody else, it's still giving you that solo vibe and I don't like that. I like to have that player interaction. I mean, I know that you can have a player interaction, but it only if you do like certain things, but it's not like a constant. So it kind of falls like with Terraforming Mars, Ares Expedition. If I'm gonna be playing with somebody else, I wanna have some sort of interaction. I don't wanna just be like still just like a solo deal. To me, that's just kind of pointless. But if you like it, that's great. No shame. It's just not really my cup of tea. Uh, then we have cartographers. I've actually really, really been enjoying it. And you guys, I bought these like 3D stamp things that I saw on Etsy. <sighs> yeah, I already know. I don't read. I, I don't I didn't, I didn't realize. Okay, I thought when I got them and I was like, oh, I'm trying to stamp something. Ain't no damn ink on it. So I was thinking that they were like pre fit like one of those pre-filled stamps. And no, they ain't got no, they ain't got nothing. They ain't got nothing like that. I was kind of sad. So now I gotta buy some some ink for my stamps and I'm very, very sad that I can't use it because I was very excited to use a little stamp because I can't draw it for shit. Then um, I did play Obsession um, in the flesh and it was a, a two player and I really, really like it at two player. I do have the upstairs downstairs expansion and I do want to get the Wessex expansion as well just to obviously have that extra player or that yeah, extra family, whatever. Um, the first time that I played this, I played it at five players, never again. I think the max that I would probably do would be three, and that's really pushing it. Then we have Alien Fate of the Nostromo. And that's it's another game that I really enjoy. Um, you can buy this one at Target, give you that alien feel. I haven't played Nemesis. I would love to play Nemesis, but Nemesis is really expensive. So if you are on a budget, uh, then this would be the way to do it. I played this with a, quite a few people as well and they've really, really enjoyed it. So if you have like non-gamer friends, I think that they really will enjoy it. Now, if you're somebody who's played like Nemesis, obviously this is like a back step. So obviously I wouldn't recommend this one to you. Well, maybe, maybe, because I think Nemesis seems like it has like a lot of a setup to do. And this is like the generic version of nemesis these last couple games i've played at two player pandemic love us some pandemic honestly i haven't played pandemic like in a year um totally still enjoy it uh we each had two characters this is like i think the only game that i don't mind <laughs> handling two characters because we need to save the world uh but yeah it was a lot of fun we absolutely love it and then we played dennis dennis <laughs> we played dennis uh, damn it dennis how do we know what dennis then we played Disney <laughs> villainous perfectly wretched I honestly kept trying to say Dennis again unfortunately my friend didn't like this one she said she wasn't feeling it uh, but she's played villainous before but I don't think she was feeling these characters then we have Terraform Mars Ares Expedition um, again solo this was another solo Sunday Rolling Realms really enjoy Rolling Realms going golfing and then I did Psy I am trying to really get into Psy but it's kind of, I don't know, there's like things of it. Maybe it's just a solo version that I'm not understanding. I haven't been able to actually play this with somebody else. Then um, I got the bloody inn. You're like um, innkeepers and you're stealing from your people. You're bribing them to come into like your devious deal and then you're murdering and burying and trying to get away with it and everything like that. Then we have Twilight Inscription and this is another game that I would really like to play like a two player or even three player. And we have Marvel United. It's been a minute since I, I had uh, played the solo version of it. Actually that was I think like last month and I ended up finding that they did like a whole new solo version. Um, so it's like the shield version and then there's the other version. I don't remember. But the new version, I, when you are able to pick the special cards from like three other characters, I like that. Oh, definitely elevated the game for me solo wise. I don't want to go crazy like with Marvel Champions, but I would like to add maybe like one more box. So which one would you guys recommend? Because I only have the core one and I really, really love it. We're back to Solo Sunday and my battery's about to run out. We got Dungeons, Dice, and Dragon. We got Sagrada. And then finally for like our book club, game night situation was rear window and the quacks of quindenberg and i love quacks 
This was the first time that we played Rear Window and it went perfectly with the book. So it was talking about a stalker in the book. And this is the book that we uh, read that month. We're on book two this month. Man, that game was really, really good. Obviously it depends on who you're playing with, but it's like a quicker version of Mysterium. And I honestly didn't think I was gonna enjoy it as much as I did, but I did, you guys. All right, so my batteries about to run out. This is what I played in the month of March. Oh my God, I have my update. Let me change my battery. Yeah, see, I almost forgot, hold up. All right, guys, for the announcement. Oh, ooh, before I forget, leave my shirt. Uh, gotta, you gotta sing it though, you gotta sing it. Okay, so last year, I did a challenge. 50 games one week. I'll go ahead and put it over here. You guys can check it out if you haven't. Now at that time, I go, I am never doing this challenge again. It was so hard. At that time, I just had about a year, I think, in the hobby, but I wasn't playing as much as I am now. At that time also, I wasn't doing solo games. I feel like I've learned from my mistakes last year. And uh, we're gonna go for it. So 50 games one week, of course, Desiree and I both work. So we really are only gonna be playing during the week from probably like six to about 10, cause I have a bedtime. And then I, I, I can't, you know, like desvelarme, like not sleep and then be functional the next morning with coffee or not. Um, so this year um, I have my 50 games, I'm still kind of, tweaking stuff because I do have a couple games that I just bought like I just got Camel Up and I'm, I want to see about incorporating that game um but I don't know because we've never played it and that was one of the the things that I was telling my sister and go this year we cannot play in order for us to at least get closer to it we can't have any like new games we have to play games that we've played um that we know how to play rather right because trying to have a new game within a challenge obviously like what the hell were we thinking so if anything um maybe i'll just do camel up it seems pretty simple so i and and i'll be looking at the how to and all that good stuff but i'm gonna be doing a lot of solo gaming so i think that's gonna help out as well and then we're gonna try to see about maybe having two games going on two separate tables so you know we'll just kind of be like switching back and forth um to try to you know accomplish the goal but ultimately I don't I don't know realistically I really don't think we would be able to do the 50 games but my goal goal like I would say we pass the goal if we play at least five games more than we did last year I don't remember what last year's thing was I know we did pass the halfway mark so at least we were content with that but I do want to play at least five games more than what we did last year but obviously it would be like a super mega win if we get did all 50 and then I would love to win at least five games personally me five games and uh, not including cooperative and not like any of the solo modes usually with the solo modes it's like a beat your own score but no like when we're competitively playing I would love to play at least five games and that's kind of like my goal mega goal woohoo would be 10 games like I said I suck at games I lose all the time so five games is a, <laughs> is a lot and also we're gonna be kind of starting off with the bigger games and they kind of work our way um down with the smaller games and last year we we did it opposite which again big mistake we're like well we're kind of ease our way into the big games and no we definitely should have started with the big boys because by the end of it we were done and we were over everything and we're just like oh okay oh and this year we're starting on a sunday and ending on a saturday last year we started on a monday and then on a sunday which was again huge mistake because gave me really like no opportunity to get ready for work the next day which was like ah uh, so this way not only will i have time to relax but i have time to get my shit together for work the challenge will be starting on what day did i say okay so oh my god what day are we on on the night so next week next week on the 17th no on the 16th we're going from the 16th through the 22nd so next week is when we'll be doing the challenge and then uh sometime during the next week is when i'll be uploading that video as well and uh yeah i'm i'm, I'm excited and then i'm just like ah. <laughs> like what am i doing why am i putting myself through this because like i said it was hell Oh my god, my back was hurting so much. Maybe I can like wager and see how many games we can actually get through. I have bigger, uh, better expectations because like I said, it's a whole other year that we have more experience with 
and I'm soloing now and I've played more games now. And honestly, I did that challenge last year because I wanted to play everything in my collection. I, of course, had like my shelf of shame and I was like, oh, okay. And I honestly just had 50 games at that time last year. I think that's pretty much how things are going to be going for the challenge. Uh, again, we'll see how well I do. I think that's kind of like the update of a challenge video that's coming like round two we'll see we'll see what happens there i'm excited though i am excited um but like i said as long as we bypass what we did last year by five games i will consider this challenge a win all right guys uh that is it for me today thank you so much for watching if you guys are new i am mainly a movie channel so hopefully i could be like your movie person for your movie watching needs and like show needs i don't do as many show uh reviews but i do some uh but mainly movies uh so hopefully i can be a lot out for you uh, if you haven't already don't forget to give this video a like comment share subscribe all that good stuff uh, let me know what you guys watch did we watch the same things did we watch damn i'm so used to saying that with my <laughs> with my other videos did we play any of the same things uh again this is my bga um handle deal um for request me, say it for me today. Thank you so much for watching us. Till next time, I'll see you guys in good sessions. Bye.